Hi, my name is Nochez, and I guess my name is Spurs Video Podcast. Um, obviously, it's official. Luke has left us. With that, I have no problem with. We all knew he was a gunner. Um, short history lesson. Ten years ago, I think it was roughly ten years ago, we tried to sign Rivaldo, and um, we failed. Man, Man City, you know, Milan actually um, blew us out of the war with this bid, and yeah, given the choice. Who would you rather join? AC Milan, who were playing the Champions League, or Tottenham? I think AC Milan actually won the Champions League that year, you know, to, to, in, in that season actually, so, yeah, it was kind of an obvious choice really. But, yeah, he was so impressed with the offer, and he was really impressed with the setup and everything, he writes a letter. And I just remember Levy, I don't know, all the powers of be at this club, at the club, waving this letter around. It was kind of like, I don't know, Neville Chamberlain with peace in our time, you know, I mean, you know, I, you know, the whole Munich agreement, this whole partnership thing, I've said on Facebook, I've said on Spurs Odyssey and Spurs from AK, the UK, the UK, but I just don't think it's a good deal, I wouldn't mind if they said, look, you know what, we've agreed to transfer, this is how much it's going to be, it's about X, X million, apparently rumours it's 32 million, going up to 37 million, which I think is a pretty good deal, he's 26, um, obviously, you know, we were offered 40 million last year, but to, you know, he was obviously a year younger, and he was, he'd, he'd just, I think he was just one year into his contract. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, he decided that yeah, I'm gone anyway, so it's the best we could accept. And to be totally fair, you know, it was either lose him to Real Madrid or lose him to an English rival. It makes, you know, it makes, no, it makes no brainer losing to Real Madrid. Because where we're going, I don't think we'll be playing them anytime too soon, unless it's in a friendly match. It's so depressing. I mean, I wouldn't mind this, but this, I don't know, this agreement, this partnership. What are we going to learn from, I don't know, what, what are we going to learn from them? Um, Let's see, how about we run up, I don't know, £300 million worth of debt, and then we'll get some dick in the Spanish government to actually pay us. For this land, which is probably only worth about £50 million, £300 million. Oh my god, our debts are all clear. You know, are we going to learn that, or are we going to learn, let's see, two up, we'll buy, I don't know, some great players, offer them a huge amount of money, and um, yeah, we'll become like seven time European champions, well, we can't do that, because, you know, as, as last time I remember it, you know, we're not really the choice of fascists, you know, from memory serves, Nick Griffin doesn't support us, and neither does um, David Cameron, sorry, David Cameron is not a fascist, but do you see what I'm saying, it's not as if, you know, we're going to come this incredible club overnight. And so, we've, we, I mean, what, we, is it official? We're now their feeder club? I mean, I'd like to know what we're going to learn from coaching-wise. I mean, it's just, on um, football players and coaching, what, we're going to get their, I don't know, their scraggy second second cast? Or the youth turn players who aren't good enough to play for Real Madrid, but they're good enough to play for you? Oh, come on, this is bollocks, he knows it. I wouldn't have minded us sending Luca. Look, we know he's gone. He's a goner, all right? Yeah, be gone with you. Be gone. But, and ultimately, it's the case of, you know, he has gone, we have to deal with it, without a doubt. But, you know, as terms of, you know, this whole wave in this deal, like, basically, it's some, it's really bad PR. It's adding, it's, it's adding insult to the incredible injury. You know, we've only really lost one of our best players, you know, our best player for the last two years. But, we... Also, are going to be insulted because, like, I'm not bad. If I'm finding this stupid, and um, and thinking, oh my god, this is a complete joke. Could you imagine what the Arsenal, Chelsea, and United lot are doing? You know, we all go, we all go for Liverpool for delusions of grandeur. But this takes the biscuit. Real Madrid are not our partners. Okay, we were playing them in the Champions Champ- League quarter final a few years ago. If anything, they should be our rivals. You know. And essentially, they have made us their bitch. That's right. Somehow, we've made their bitch. If this had never come out, this ag- this agreement, then I wouldn't have minded. But we've been made to be their bitch. And so, well done. I'm not going to clear any shout outs because this is probably one of the most depressing YouTube podcasts I've ever had to do. And the fact I've got a cold and my throat's all scraggly and stuff like that don't, don't really help. I'm hoping we can reinvest the money. Um, I'm gonna. I don't think we'll go for Matinho, purely because um, I was listening to Talk Sport a few days ago, and obviously, you know, they're not like you know being talk shite for no reason. But the guy said very simply, he said, "Look, 
Porto are house selling Hulk. That's you know, forty million. You know why would they now? You know risk. You know obviously like they're they're always, they're always, they're always going to guarantee Champions League spots, but yeah, they why would they risk serious seal money? Because yes, you get your group stage money, but you know you get even more money in the knockout phases. You know, and you want to hopefully get to those. You know, last thirty two, you know, last sixteen, hopefully even the last eight. You know, so they're not gonna risk that and lose on how much you and at twenty five million, that is a shitload of money and I just can't see unless we go for twenty million and let's face it, we've left it way too late in the season to be, you know, playing hardball, but who knows, maybe we, we have got a deal in principle agreed with them. But I mean people say, Oh, why you know, I'm, I'm one guy says to me, Oh, but if it's ten eight million, ten million you know, what's the big difference? Well, it is a difference in the fact that the reason that people have this difference is that if you pay, say, an extra two million here, a two million, two million, I'll say two if you pay two million, two million, unless that's four players, an extra two million, that's eight million, you know, and that is a huge chunk of change. That's why you need to get absolute value for what you're going to get. Um, I have no idea what this footballing partnership means, and I would love for Levy to explain this, but why should he? You know, we're a privately owned club. He he has no responsibility to us. As fans, and we're going to be stu stupidly turn up to all the games, and I'm, I'm going to watch all the games, you know, as always. It's very disappointing, though. I just think ultimately, you know, Levy was just out of tricks, you know. I mean, I, and do you know what? Uh, do you know who I blame for this? I blame Martin Fuller for fucking up against Arsenal. I blame Leon Messi and I Robin for missing those fucking penalties. Oh man, do I, do I blame a shitload of people, you know? I blame Chris fucking Foy. For you know that penalty that you know for those things he didn't see against Stoke, you know, oh I really want to blame is Harry Redknapp the dick that cost us, I don't know what was it, how many games in a row did we lose? We how many points did we surrender? Eleven points did we surrender? You know I fucking blame Harry Redknapp for this. Oh, I just it's just, urgh. but it is one of those things. Um, my money would be not on Moutinho, I think. With 50 million, or oh, over 33 million plus, how much we've sold, the likes of, um, you know, obviously when we get the Dawson money in, and you, know, you add, add the Cranchar, and you know, the Pav, and all the other money, I think, apparently, Will, Will I am, apparently, that, that, that will be his new name, I guess, um, he's apparently the last year of his deal at Shatter the Nets, so, I reckon, obviously, there, there's movement there, let's look, you know, selling sell now or losing for a free, they'd rather, you know. So apparently we have a, a bid rejected, but I think we'll probably do bids there for 14 mil. Um, obviously, Damiel, but what the fuck's happened with that? No one knows. You know, I'm assuming if we sell Damiel, then we have to buy some signs, Damiel, then we have to sell JD or something. You know, someone clue me in here. And we're still a striker short. We st you still, even if you're playing one striker up front, you need to have. Three strikers, all of whom are capable of playing that low man up front. Harry Kane is 20 years old. He is not yet capable of playing that in the Premiership. You know, he can barely play that in the for Cup. But, um, you know, I just think, you know, I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do to us. You know, but, you know football is about being patient. And my God is leaving, try, trying my patience. I'm actually on with Superstars on this. I'm not pissed about selling Luca. It's that stupid partnership agreement why even announce it honestly you might as well, you might as well say to the Arsenal fans look we are Tottenham mock us you know Arsenal fans wouldn't consider having a partnership Arsenal going to partnership with Real nor Chelsea Man U or Man City or Liverpool why the fuck should we oh man it, it pisses me right off so I'm sorry there are no shout there are no shout outs there will be one naked self interest shout out for saying please click on the ad links so I make a few pennies and, and these actually are a penny, that's all I make, but uh, it's better than nothing. Anyway, um, I hate to say it, but come on, you Spurs, please, come on, do something. Amaze me, try and get fourth this season by selling our best player and basically being, being a laughing tool. You know, we've signed Chelsea Reject as a manager. We are now, I don't know what, we're going to sign Real Madrid Rejects as part of this, you know, peace in our times agreement. I mean, bloody hell. Uh, I just, it's just. Honestly, I remember, you know, going to do a part, you know, I remember one time wanting to quit being a Spurs fan because it was just so painful. I think it was when we got stove 4-0 by Blackburn at home or something in 2003. 
and it was just so painful. And um, to you know, to be honest, they did re you know, re you know, respond. They ended up signing Pastiga and Bobby Zamora, who didn't do anything. And then six months later, they managed to sign JD, and who again isn't isn't a world beater. He wouldn't get into any of the other top five teams, top five six players clubs, would he? Anyway, um, you know, it's just. You know, it's just like ten years on. As much what has changed? We were a laughing stock ten years ago, and now we're not what another laughing stock. It just, it just pisses me right off. But what can you do? Them's the brakes. Anyway, come on, you Spurs.